every child's an individual and therefore learns differently. Some kids may find learning challenging and it's for this reason that I'm here today at California State University. In this era, too often parents really like uh, have their children specialize in sports and so at a young age I think they should try a variety of sports and see what they enjoy. Tell us about the sports you played growing up. I uh, played a variety of sports, AFL, hockey, water polo, did a lot of swimming and then obviously in school they get you to do all the sports, lots of golf as well thanks to dad, he's quite an avid golfer. For children with ADHD I think that some children with disabilities sometimes it's really good to start out with an individual sport like golf because in an individual sport the self-pacing you can monitor a lot easier than you can if you're in a team sport. The problem with a team sport sometimes is that you're working with others and you have to work at their own pace so like in basketball you're moving and all of a sudden you're, in, you're on offense, the ball gets stolen, now you're going to defense, and you have to make that critical processing decision very, very quickly. Like with an individual sport, a lot of times you can self-pace. What was your favorite sport? Between all of them, I'd say hockey, water polo, but mainly golf. Golf is my favorite. Like, just going down to the golf course, having a hit with dad, early mornings before school. To me, the, one of the biggest things is, what does the child enjoy? What's important to them? Golf, I think it was just getting out on the golf course, like walking around. It's quite a relaxing sport. It's kind of easy going. I mean, it's stressful when you obviously fluff a shot or slice it into the bush or you spend half the time with your hiking boots on walking through the, um, the jungle out there, but it's just relaxing to get out. It's an easy sport to get all right at. It's a really hard sport to get really good at. And I find that like challenge always made it worth it when you finally hit a ball straight and you started hitting them straighter a lot more consistently. Like you could feel like you were getting a lot better and it was quite rewarding in that way. What are the benefits for kids with ADHD taking up sport? First of all, from a physical standpoint, just by practicing these motor uh, skills, they become more competent as a mover. Uh, they feel better about themselves. They're more apt to move. If they're more apt to move, then they're going to lead a physically active lifestyle, and that's going to lead to a healthy lifestyle. And golf's a great sport that you can play, you know, for a lifetime. Uh, from a cognitive standpoint in sport, you have to motor plan, you have to uh, work with others, you know, so that's important. But probably one of the biggest uh, benefits is, is socially is that you're working with, with others. You need to learn how to share. You need to learn how to work towards goals. And so all of those things are important for everyone. And these are, these are benefits that can carry over in your job skills and work and society. But just movement in general from a health-related physical fitness standpoint is, is, is critical. Dad never without a doubt always took us to play sports. Went over and played hockey for, um, in Malaysia for a hockey tour. Played water polo over in the Eastern States for the state champs. Hockey state champs, like, but we played a lot of sports. And just, you know, going to all these nice golf clubs as well. Like, there are some really nice golf clubs out there and just being able to play at them at such a young age, taking 20 shots to, you know, even get close to the green. It was good fun because, you know, it's just beautiful sports. So my first advice is that they should find, if they can, ask the child, what sports do you like to do? And we talked earlier about maybe at a young age trying a variety of sports. I also think that parents should be talking to coaches. And if they have their child with a coach, the first thing they should do is talk to them and share with them you know, I want you to be aware that my child has ADHD. Some parents are reluctant to do that because they feel like their child's going to get labeled. But I think it's really important that, that they go to the, the, the coach and say, my child has ADHD and he's, an auto, he's a visual learner. He's a, he, he would work best with demonstration. I would look at different sports. We talked earlier about I would try some individual sports at first because of the self-pacing. I would look at lifetime sports you know, sports that they can do for a lifetime. But again, you know, that child may be convinced that, hey, I want to play football because all the kids in my neighborhood are playing that, because that's what my friends are doing. And, and so I, I think too often um, in this day and age, sometimes parents take over. I'm from an era where you, at a young age, you played a variety of sports and you tried a variety of things and, 
and see what you enjoy. But I'm really big on, you know, a sport like golf, which is lifetime, which you can do, you know, as an adult. What is your advice for parents with kids with ADHD? What do you think the big picture is? For me, the big picture would be that once they find out that their child has ADHD, they need to get busy and not be in denial. And they need, there's nothing to be ashamed of, all right? There are a lot of successful people with ADHD, right? This is not a death sentence, okay? And that they need to get busy and they need to find out how does my child learn best, okay? Because that's the thing, they can learn, it's that they may learn differently than you and I. That's a real critical that's the first thing I talk about when I talk to parents about children with disabilities. They do learn, they just learn differently. And, and so, are they an auditory learner? Are they you know, visual learner? Are they um, learning kinesthetically, right? And I would also share that information with the coach and say, my child you know, has a, a learning disability, I want you to know this, and here's uh, four or five things that we've used that have been successful with that child. In our next episode, task analysis. And task analysis is simply taking a skill, breaking it down into manageable parts. For more great videos, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications.